Well, as we just saw there, there's a lot going on in Israel beyond the conflicts that usually dominate foreign news coverage of this country. For example, the volume of headlines that do focus on peace and security issues often do overshadow Israel's dynamic cultural scene. Now a freshman member of parliament, Yossi Shine of the Israel Beitano Party, seeks to shine a light on Israel's rich offering in the arts and get government backing to ensure that it is given proper support to flourish domestically and internationally. Our Sammy Israel has that story. Headline after headline after headline paints a picture of Israel that's less than flattering. The foreign media's disproportionate coverage of Israel almost exclusively covers violence. The escalating conflict between Israel and Hamas. The barrage of negative news surrounding Israel often overshadows the nation's rich and diverse cultural identity. New member of Knesset Yossi Shane seeks to change that by creating a government council that supports Israeli arts and culture and helps disseminate it abroad. We have in Israel, in, in literature, in arts, in film, in every aspect of, 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 of creation, unique, unique artists and, and, and people of talent. And it's time for the state itself to help facilitate and become enhancing this culture, which is already gaining such momentum around the globe. To try to build the Israeli Institute, what the British Institute Council is, or Get Institute, you'll be the Israeli. It's time to do it. Shane hosted an event at the Knesset with some of Israel's leading figures from across the cultural spectrum. Actors, writers, directors, musicians, and more took turns taking the stage to stress the importance of highlighting Israeli creativity abroad. Perhaps the most famous Israeli in the world even made an appearance and sent her blessing. <laughs> Israeli arts and culture have shown a promising track record overseas. TV shows like Shtisel and Fauda provide insight into the nuanced nature of Israeli identity and have found great international success. Growing up as uh, you know, a minority, a Jewish Israeli, till the age of 18, I understood at an early age that there is a big gap that exists between what people know about Israel and what is being told. Because, you know, most of the information that we get when we're abroad is from the news. One of Israel's most well-known directors, Avi Nesher, stressed that the ability to tell a story is more powerful than it is given credit for. We live in an age where, um, you know, people have understood that he who tells a better story wins. And uh, Israel has not, uh, has not been very good about understanding the story is as potent as the most powerful weapon. And, um, you know, Israeli cinema is very vibrant, it's very interesting. But more and more we encounter a reality whereby, you know, festivals worldwide, you know, uh, operate under strict PC rules. And only if you tell a specific story, you know, are you, are you allowed in. And it is up, you know, for the Israeli government to institute, you know, uh, a body such as Getter House or the British Council to make sure that all of the Israeli culture, all the various colors, all the various shades is presented, you know, outside of the country. Because only if you understand how diverse this country is and how open it is to understand that we are not the, uh, the apartheid country that some people are trying to portray us as. On a practical level, the arts provide a language for people of diverse backgrounds to connect, to see each other as individuals, rather than through the lens of the news. Every place I perform, um, uh, journalists from all over are interested. I think music is a, is a, is a great language uh, to speak to, to the world, to connect people, to, to, to bring the world together. Israel is a complex place where conflict and culture are not mutually exclusive. Art and dance and food and cinema are also part of the Israeli narrative and deserve to be presented as such. The creation of this council shows the government's recognition that creativity and culture have a place in Israel's arsenal.